I yield. Well fought. Approach. Rise. Remove your help. You are all your father promised and more, my lady. I've seen Sir Loris bested once or twice, but never quite in that fashion. Now, now, my love, my brother fought valiantly for you. That he did, my queen. But there can only be one champion. Brienne of Tarth. You may ask anything of me you desire. It is within my power. It is yours. Your grace. I ask the honor of a place in your king's guard. I will be one of your seven, pledge my life to yours, and keep you safe from all harm. Done. Rise, Brienne of the King's Guard. Your Grace, I have the honor to bring you Lady Catelyn Stark, sent as an envoy by her son, Rob, Lord of Winterfell. Lord of Winterfell and King in the North. Lady Catelyn, I'm pleased to see you. May I present my wife, Marjorie of House Tyrell. You are very welcome here, Lady Stark. I'm so sorry for your loss. You were most kind. My lady. I swear to you, I will see the Lannisters answer for your husband's murder. When I take King's Landing, I'll bring you Joffrey's head. It will be enough to know that justice was done, my lord. Your grace. And you should kneel when you approach the king. There's no need for that. Lady Stark is an honored guest. Has your son marched against Tywin Lannister yet? I do not sit on my son's war councils. And if I did, I would not share his strategies with you. If Rob Stark wants a pact with us, he should come himself, not hide behind his mother's skirts. My son is fighting a war, not playing at one. Don't worry, my lady. Our war is just beginning. <laughs>